Bay. Today we have been joined by some of the cast of the band, which is currently playing down at the Haymarket Theatre. No, it's not the Haymarket Theatre. It's the Theatre Royal Haymarket. It's much posher than just the Haymarket Theatre. Um, and we are very lucky. They are going to do a little song and then answer some of our questions. So, what are you going to sing? Um, so, hello, we're the boys from the band, and we're going to be singing a song called Said It All. Um, it's uh, in act two in the show. It's a really beautiful moment. Um, uh, as as a boy man, as, as the, the boys in the show, we we kind of uh, take a bit of a backseat and we support the, the story. The story is actually about these five beautiful women you see here. Um, and so, yeah, as a beautiful poignant team is happening, we're kind of uh, helping the action along with, with a song. And we're going to do it in a bit of a barbershop style for you. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> When the tears fall away And there's no conversation There's nothing left to break It's not already broken You're staring into space And every inch of silence Been standing here for days and days Said it all Nothing to say at all, nothing to say that matters, haven't we heard enough? Said it all, nothing to say at all, nothing to say that matters, doesn't matter anymore. expectation hope begins to fade as you find a new direction been talking here for days and days said it all nothing to say at all nothing to say that matters haven't we heard enough? Said it all. Nothing to say at all. Nothing to say that matters. Doesn't matter anymore. All of the miles of words we spoke. All of the lies that got away Didn't we take the time to say them all? All of the miles of words we've spoken All of the lies that got away Didn't we take the time to say them all? Say something. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So you've been on tour. You've been doing. You've been on tour for quite a long time, actually, haven't you? Since the TV show, um, and now you're in the West End. What's it like? Um, it's just kind of a dream come true for us all because we've been touring for so long and we've always had London in the pipeline. Um, so it's really gathered momentum, and we're really excited to be here, especially while it's so Christmassy. Yeah. And the Theatre Royal Haymarket. What a stunning venue. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? What's it like being on that stage every night? It's absolutely, um, it's absolutely <laughs> incredible. I mean, it's really cheesy, but like you dream of being on the West End as a kid, and you don't necessarily think that's going to happen because it, you know you have to ho uh, work hard for it and you know be determined. And then, like open night was so surreal, and it's incredible. It's a beautiful theatre. And how does it differ being in London compared to the venues that you've been to around the country? Well, I guess I'm going to have to give you this one actually. <laughs> Um, it's nice to like have a base um, where we can kind of find a routine like we were saying the other day like we like that we've got time to do things and to Christmas shop and to actually see our friends as opposed to being in like 
a random venue in the middle of nowhere, which is lovely, and we've been to some great places, but it's just nice to be closer to home and to have a home for seven weeks in that beautiful theatre. So, yeah. Um, and somebody just tell us a little bit about the show. Um, so it's it's got the music of Take That, which is performed by you guys, but the story... Oh, <laughs> 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 So um, we opened in 1993, and it follows the story of five girls who are all completely different with different personalities, but what unites them is their undying love of the boy band. Um, and they absolutely love their songs, that their life is about them, they're the soundtrack of their lives. And you get to see them reunite 25 years later and see how their life has turned out. All soundtrack by the beautiful take that music. <laughs> <laughs> and boys, what's it like singing those iconic songs? I mean, you're, you're gonna, right. oh, blimey, he's <laughs> eager, he's so eager. Ready? Um, I just wanna say that obviously we're we um, met Take That properly like the day after we won the TV show and to have that like momentous amount of pressure knowing that Robbie and like especially last week Robbie and Take That were all watching and you're singing these songs that people have taken into their hearts and lives and um, it's really important that you don't ruin it for them. <laughs> so we don't carry that pressure but I think as well you know it's quite a gift that we get to interpret these songs in different ways in the show and it's really nice. Anyone else want to? Oh. Basically, uh, <laughs> um, well, the audience already know the words, so um, there's extra pressure there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't get any it's lyrics true. wrong. Yeah. Um, favourite part, favourite songs? Have you got one if you had to choose? Okay, this, this may be a better question. Sorry, you answer that one. Uh, this may be a better question. W was there a song that was your favourite before and one that is your favourite now? Has it changed? Oh, like take that song. Yeah. Oh, 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 Mine must be the before question. Um, I really enjoy Relight because we have such a great time on stage and without giving it too much away, um, there's a particular moment where the girls are all like cheering Debbie on and I just find it a beautiful moment because it's just true friendship at that point. So. Anyone else? And um, there's actually, I didn't know that many Take That songs before <laughs> the show, but um, I've really kind of like grown to love them, especially the guys do the flood in the second act, which I think is just a really cool yeah. moment of the show. It's like a tour gig. So. Yeah. Go on. Said It All was actually my favourite song before we started this. But not that. No, 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 <laughs> okay, we have, we had a few questions sent in um, from from fans, and a lot of our followers are young fans. Um, so one of the recurring questions was, how did you guys get into the business, and uh, what advice have you got for young performers? <laughs> we were quite lucky to get into this job actually, because we were part of a TV show called Let It Shine, um, and we were selected through that to be part of the, the cast of the show. Um, but um, we, I mean, before I entered the TV show, I had plans to go to drama school, which would hopefully then get me into the industry, but this was kind of a bit of a fast track to the West End. <laughs> 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 so, um, so I'm quite lucky. I think um, you should ask the girls that like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think the thing is, there's, there's never really one set path into the industry. Um, there's, there's so many ways. I know um, even between the five of us, we've all had completely different backgrounds. Um, one thing that is a constant is that all five of us, oh, well, all ten of us really, um, started when we were younger either going to dance classes, singing classes, drama classes, and whether they, we went to university or drama school or um, doing all different kinds of things. I know we've all done an am drama at some point in our <laughs> lives. Um, you know, it's, it's really interesting. I think the thing is persistence and having that love um, if it's not what you wake up in the morning and think this is what I absolutely have to do with my life, then 
you know, that you, you've got to have that grit and determination inside you. But if you've got it, it will happen one day. Yeah, yeah, true that. Okay, final question. Final question, why should people come and see the band at the Theatre Royal Haymarket? <laughs> um, I think what's special about the band is that it's like no other musical I've seen in that it's got a brilliant script that really goes into the intricacies of friendship um, as well as kind of having moments of being a complete concert it has that element of a gig and then also the beautiful um, the musical take that um, it will kind of interweave and it, it makes for a really special evening out I think especially if you come with a group of friends because it's so uniting about friendship it, it's a really special night out especially over the Christmas period Yes. Tickets now. <laughs> <laughs> tickets now. <laughs> um, and actually, you can book your tickets uh, on this post because we've got yeah, actually, literally now. Uh, we put a link in the in the post so you can click on there and get your tickets link for the show. And it runs through until the twelfth of January at the Theatre Royal Haymarket. Um, I've already been and it's absolutely amazing. I cried so much. It's so sad and happy and so wonderful. Bad. <laughs> no, not because it's so bad, because it's so beautiful. So do get your tickets um, while you can. It's, it's a really stunning show, um, and uh, yeah, you don't want to miss out. Thank you so much, guys, for coming in. It's been fabulous to see you. Um, if you want to head over and ask some questions, you can go over to our Instagram. Um, the, the class will be doing a, a Q&A over there for the next 20 minutes. Um, but other than that, thank you very much, and see you soon. Bye.